welcome to my channel here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for libra sun moon and rising let's see what spirit has for you guys i want to wish every single one of you guys out there a happy hollows eve and let's get into your reading libra let's see what spirit has your first card here is the ten of cups libra very beautiful card family emotional fulfillment abundance you have the nine of pentacles here nine of pentacles could represent finances um financial stability your third card here is the seven of wands and your fourth card wow your fourth card here is the death card death card could represent obviously um the month of october but also it represents ending cycles and being able to renew or restart or give birth to new beginnings now your first card here libra is the ten of cups so the ten of cups could represent emotional fulfillment but it can also represent um for some of you guys recently that either recently got married or recently got engaged um next to the nine of pentacles there is financial bliss and emotional fulfillment so i feel that for a lot of you guys you guys have been experiencing or will be experiencing a lot of financial stability and with the financial stability you're able to um enjoy the relationship or enjoy or give yourself 100 percent to the relationship because you're no longer worrying about difficulties and finances and things like that now you do have the seven of wands and the seven of wands is feeling extremely guarded now, for some of you guys, it could represent, for you Libras out there that have been single for a very long time, the Ten of Cups could represent that there's a need and a desire for you to find emotional fulfillment or emotional uh, balance, uh, wanting or desiring marriage or finding that you know long-term committed relationship. The Nine of Pentacles represents your singlehood. So that's why I'm saying for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, it's almost like you desire to be in a committed relationship, but the same desire of wanting to be in a committed relationship, when you find yourself in relationships, you question everything, or it's almost like you love to be in love with the idea of love, but when it comes to actually dealing with difficulties that come with relationships, you're like, you know what? Uh -uh. I'm better off alone. And what Spirit is telling you, it's time for you to basically be mature that's what it is it's time for you to bring your guard down and to allow yourself to connect with people on an emotional level um because that's teaching you unconditional love okay and unconditional love is loving someone through their good and their bad and being able to love them as a whole not as an idea of what you think they are so there's almost like for those of you guys that have been single for a while it's almost like you guys continuously keep putting yourself in the same situation you fall in love with people but more than falling in love with them you fall in love with the idea of them the moment it gets difficult you decide you decide it's best for you to be single and you walk away from this relationship guarding yourself and guarding your heart the death card here is to symbolize that there's an ending to this there is a need for you to grow and mature there is a need for you to kill and end this fear that you have within yourself of ending up with someone that you're going to be unhappy for the rest of your life you don't know that so you cannot keep running away from love okay and the reason i'm saying that it's okay if you want to be single the rest of your life it's not okay for you not to want that but also have the fear to actually step up and take it to the next level because you're never going to find out so that's what the cards are telling you now for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship you have the ten of cups and the nine of pentacles okay so the ten of cups represents long-term committed relationship it could also symbolize ten years it can also symbolize nine years as we do have the nine of pentacles here we have the seven of wands and the seven of wands is getting to a point where you feel like you have to guard yourself or like you have to protect yourself for some of you guys it could be that you found out that your partner was acting single uh and this is for those of you guys that have been married for a very long time they were acting single or stepping out of the relationship and now you feel like you have to guard yourself but also like you have to protect yourself or your family or 
protect yourself from if we're going to take it to the next level and actually go through the divorce getting to a point of understanding and being on the same page like you need to give me what's rightfully mine because I've invested 20 years of my life with you etc etc and the cards are here to tell you with the seven of wands make sure to guard yourself in the sense of if there is agreements that need to be done and need to be come together with the partner or the ex-partner do it but not in a way of bringing completely your wall down uh, because they will take advantage of this and again with the death card there's an ending to this cycle so there is a need for you to release this or finally for those of you guys that have been in a long-term relationship and are finally dealing with the ending of a divorce it will be coming through in november for you guys okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon okay bye